here we are with one of my uh, more common drilling platforms. This is a four drill setup that's narrow enough to fit all the way through. Uh, it's not quite fully armored, so I'll deal with armoring it later, but I did want to show how to use conveyors to provide automatic ejection of materials. So in order to facilitate this, you have to have exposed exit points on your drills. And I have a few options on where to put this, but in, instead of putting it in the middle, which is what I was thinking about earlier, which would you know, interfere with my already limited view, I'm going to go ahead and try and put them on the sides so that they're not as much in the way. The first block you'll need to pull it out is a conveyor. So you need a conveyor on each drill. Conveniently enough, there is a conveyor tube mechanism now too. So every time you've got a, con a corner, you can use conveyors to navigate that corner. I think, I think from my practice earlier, this should work just fine. Notice that the lights lit up on the conveyor tube once it was connected to the conveyor system, so... the ejection points to be consolidated because I found that it makes it a lot easier to deal with uh, like the whole ejection process. <coughs> if they're all pointed in the same direction, you can turn them all on and not have to worry about it. The reason I'm putting a solid set of conveyors here is because this is where I'm, like, I'm going to put my ports, which is going to let me eject the ore. You can see there's only one port, on, one point on the ports that can, or sorry, connectors that can intersect with the rest of the system. Now, in hindsight, I realized that there are a few places that I could have skimped on parts and made this a little more efficient as far as materials go, because I didn't necessarily have to have two paths to the top, for example. I could have centered this and then went up only one side of the large thruster in the back. But I like my symmetry. Alright, so the drill is now complete, aside from detector components, which apparently I don't have enough materials to make, and I can't figure out which of these useful ships here might have enough for me to build it. Oops, I missed a spot. Always good to look over your work. Finally managed to finish <coughs> most of the shell here. I'm just welding up the last little bits. I've left the new armor pieces gray, so you can clearly see the difference. And then I'll go paint them all. Oh, looks like the new design has a completely cased in back end here, and the value of that is again bouncing around in the mine. You don't want to have it important valuables breaking off. Just like the thrusters, you just keep the area directly outside of the connector open, and it'll be able to throw stuff out. So back again, uh, I got this uh, drill parked. Just trying to gather the parts that I need to build my collector. All right, got the part, but it'll give me the space that I need to be able to build a hopper on top of all this. D and to show you, the uh, the only door on the collector is the, it's on the same concept, it's on the bottom. I generally like to have an actual hopper on there, but I just simply don't have the materials yet, so I'm going to go ahead and unpark this thing. That should all fall in there. I'll find out real quick if I miss with anything. I just heard the uh, refinery start up there faintly. At this point it's emptying. So far I've been following the trend of one per drill, but I think I might want to increase that flow. I've got room to put additional connectors in this top section here if I want. And that would increase my ability to unload quickly, which is very important. For these, I can, it'll, it automatically stacks the materials, so if I want stone go last, I can just move it, move it down, and it's not going to try and shove stone in front. And since the assembler 
is running. It's pulling this in and making plenty of additional steel plate and all these other parts that I'll need later. So once the conveyor system is active, it will pull the materials in, but it only pulls them on demand instead of continuously dumping into the assembler. I think I like that because I think that means you can also have connected, you know, super large container like the container ships there and have them all flow through. There's your demonstration. The uh, conveyor, collector, the connector, uh, the uh, conveyor tube, and how to hook it all up to a drill rig. One last note as you're dealing with these uh, these components, it is very important to turn off the throw function of your collectors before you go drilling. Otherwise, when you finally hit the rocks, it'll just throw them all over the place and you will not collect them. Well, that's why you need a hopper up there, because every now and then stuff spills over the side. We'll get this ship out of the way. And as you're going, it, or going around this to the right, you just pick the other kind of block, hit delete, and you're going to be in the right position to do this. Here, I don't have to worry so much about the accuracy of my position or the <coughs> or the scorching of the parts by my thrusters. Either way, so throw. Throw, throw, throw. Now our rocks are bouncing along the edge and funneling right down into place and feeding our refinery. Refinery stays nice and full, and now the hopper starts to collect, or the collector rather, starts to collect material. <laughs> 